Okay, we're going to get started and we're going to print on an 18 inch uh, bat. Again, I've already lowered um, my print head. We're going to be very careful when putting this in. Again, you got to remember we're printing in an area width of 8 inches wide. So basically, this mark here indicates you want to have the edge of the bat just barely on this last roller. So again, you want to print to the closest you can down here. And again, uh, you have this knob here if you need to do any adjustments up and down to level out the bat. This is the bat's already level, how it is. Um, we're going to move over the print head and look and make sure that this is adjusted to eighth inch above. If we need to, we can adjust it right up here. Okay. Now here up on the screen, I've got mine here. Uh, and again, I set my image size to baseball bats five inches by eight inches. Again, that's eight inches here, the printing area, and it's five inches in circumference of my printing. Now again, I'm not going to want to print all the way here to the very end because again, this is where it starts sloping. So about an inch and a quarter uh, in is where I want to start my image. So I basically lay this out the same way I want to print it. Okay. Um, I've got my image here all set up. Now, what I want to do right before I print, I want to rotate this image, 100, this canvas full 180. Because again, what this is going to do this printer prints the top of the page first. So if I print it like here, this wide area would be, be on this side. So I have flipped it, as you see here on the screen. So this would start it right here at this 8 inches mark and go this way. Again, I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but again, it's really not once you kind of figure it out. Um, just really think of, you know, when the laser printers that we buy, you know, it always prints the, the, the top part of the page first. Again, our properties are going to be the same. We're going to do best, Lex, the Lexmark photo paper, and again, leave it on paper size legal. But again, we're still going to print portrait. Um, if we were printing a batting stance of uh, somebody holding a, a boy holding a baseball bat, we would put, uh, we would print it landscape. You know, or you could set your image same this, how this is, and rotate it, and then still do the same and print on portrait as well. Again, I still want to disengage this motor here when I hit, so I'm going to click OK twice here, and it's going to come up. I'm going to disengage the motor. Again, it's going to come up on the screen. It's ready to print. And again, you're going to see it. Again, it's going to go through the same pre routine each time. So I'm going to let it down once. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to zoom in here. And show you now these novelty baseball bats. I mean, they're great. Um, you know, you pick these up. I think these are a little over two dollars. Uh, you're easily retail between ten to ten to twelve dollars. These make great uh, gifts uh, that you can print the full team photo on. You know, as a full team, I offer a bat and a ball for ten dollars each for twenty dollars. Um, you know, I'll have max max four dollars in the full setup between my baseball and baseball bat. Uh, again, you can very easily get twenty bucks. You know, it's a profit of fifteen to sixteen dollars. Um, you know, the opportunities are out there uh, very easily uh, to what you want to do. Uh, this is just very a very easy market. Uh, you also have on your CD, we have available all of our marketing tools. Uh, we have postcards that has the baseball, baseball bats, and softballs on them that all you have to do is just hand them out. You know, um, have them local at the local printer, you know, like the uh, UPS store or even uh, FedEx, um, you know, Kinko's, FedEx Kinko's. Print four up on an 8.5 by 11 inch page on, post on postcard uh, stock, uh, and you can have it very easy, inexpensive marketing tool. And what's great is usually if one person buys a bat, they all will buy a bat, and you've got this one set up, so you don't have to change in and out, you know, like you would do with baseball. But again, it only takes about 30 seconds to print, you know, maybe a minute to change out. Now on the baseball bats, I don't use use a sharp edge, uh, as you can see here on the photo. I kind of uh, miss the side of it, a gradation, you know, just to have a little bit of softer effect. 
But again, you may want to play with this a little bit of, of the five inch mark. Uh, but here, this is going to print right on key the five inch circumference. But again, depending on the, the width of your bat, uh, the circumference, you may want to change that a little bit. This is overlapping just a little bit, but not, not much at all. So, but again, here, we're going to take this out. Again, always be careful. You can slide this up here, you know, and I mean, that's a perfect, um, you know, display. You can see all the faces very well. Um, you know, it, it's, it's very good. Now, we kind of use an overlap, so then that's very good. So that eight inches by five inches works perfect. Again, I want to let you know if you always if you make a mistake with any of this, uh, like these baseball bats, you know, just take some warm water and get it off immediately. You know, uh, sometimes your your uh, your reds will will stain a little bit even if you come back an hour later and wash it off. But I would immediately go and wash off your image if you mess up, and then just re-incate it. You know, and you're ready to go again. So again, you're really not, um, you know, ruining any uh, product. Uh, when you mess up, even the baseball bats, I mean, the excuse me, the baseballs or softballs. Also, uh, when I got through, when I would get through printing this, uh, you know, I would get that Minwax uh, semi-gloss and just spray that, uh, just just one light coat, kind of tack it, and then add another one. You know, let it dry for about an hour, and it'll it'll get pretty uh, dry uh, where you, they could handle it again. Uh, a lot of times, I'll take this unit out to the ball fields and print on the spot. And I'll kind of have a hanging up drying system um, where I can dry the bats for a little bit and have them come back within an hour. It may be still be a little tacky, but again, they can just carry it around. And, and uh, you know, really with this machine, you could go to tournaments, print baseball and baseball bats, you know, on the spot. So it's immediate, you know, gratification for the kids.